Well, welcome to Launch CMU and the launch of the new Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship. It's great to see so many familiar faces and friends and members of our startup ecosystem here in Pittsburgh. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dave Mowinney, and I am a proud alum of Carnegie Mellon. And I hesitate to say it, but I'm also the proud alum of, uh, of uh, parent of alums as well. So uh, I'm getting a little bit old, long in the tooth, but I'm here to stay. So um, today is a momentous occasion for CMU. Today, we enter the new era uh, of entrepreneurship with the launch of the Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship. And the first part of our program will celebrate Jim Schwartz's transformational gift to CMU. Um, the second half of our program will focus on smart cities, and we'll have six lightning talks from the exciting research and companies that are going on here at CMU. But to kick things off today, I'd like to introduce an exciting new video about the Schwartz Center. Opportunity, it's out there. Through creativity, hard work, and soaring above the norm, you can seize it. You are an entrepreneur. Whether you're an undergrad, a graduate student, an alumnus, or a faculty member. The Swartz Center for Entrepreneurship at Carnegie Mellon University is your opportunity, your path to success, where you bring your ideas to market. Courses for credit at Carnegie Mellon are at the core of the ecosystem supported by countless extracurricular programs, global resources, and networks that launch companies. Entrepreneurs jump into the Swartz Center ecosystem at any time to build a unique path and collide with ideas, creativity, and visionaries also striving for success. Consider a student. While attending Entrepreneurship Boot Camp, he learns about the Swartz Center incubator, Project Olympus giving him the opportunity to earn a Spark Grant, which provides the capital needed to launch his startup. He then becomes a Swartz Fellow, a cohort program for entrepreneur training. Or a faculty member who, through the National Science Foundation i program, discovers how to commercialize her research, which then gains recognition at Launch CMU, the Swartz Center's public entrepreneur showcase of student, alumni, faculty, and staff. At the same time, her PhD student earns additional funding by winning the McGinnis Venture Competition for CMU students and becomes an Innovation Fellow. An alum takes full advantage of the Swartz Center Connects workshops and gets mentoring from the entrepreneur in residence, who suggests joining the i site program. During this program, the alum learns about the Open Field Entrepreneurs Fund, which provides seed funding to recent alumni. For every entrepreneur, every research project, every business idea. Our centralized ecosystem creates unique paths to learn, network, commercialize, invest, and launch the next great startup. The Sports Center is, is a great place because with all the resources at Carnegie Mellon, uh, it's all being put under one roof, and that's amazing. The quality programs at Carnegie Mellon, it's the people, it's the fact they interact with each other, it's the fact that there is this more community spirit here that's really important and really helpful in starting businesses. Students and faculty are really able to come together and uh, share their thoughts and opinions um, and experiences regarding entrepreneurship. Different seminars that were free and open to anyone on campus was incredibly helpful to me. Everybody has an extracurricular activity that they enjoy and that they're really passionate about and they sort of combine their passion with their major and that is exactly what is necessary to be a successful entrepreneur. Swartz Center for Entrepreneurship at Carnegie Mellon University. We, we have very lofty goals for the Swartz Center. Our first is to be the destination of choice for aspiring entrepreneurs, both students and faculty. In other words, we aspire to be the best. Our second is to create more valuable companies from the great research and ideas that happen at CMU. I always joke, Stanford has Google, Harvard has Facebook, Carnegie Mellon has, right? And if we strive to create that blockbuster company that everybody associates with CMU, we'll create dozens if not hundreds of other great companies along the way. And finally, we will leverage the 100,000 strong living alumni that we have at Carnegie Mellon. If you're an alum, I ask you to be a customer, a supplier, a mentor, or an investor in, a, in another CMU company. There are 30 of those companies here today. Please go connect with them. Now it is my great honor to introduce uh, CMU Provost Farnam Jahanian, 
who has been instrumental in making the Schwartz Center reality. Farnham. Thank you very much, Dave. Good afternoon. And a warm welcome to all of you who have gathered here uh, to celebrate the launch of the Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship. This is going to be a hub for campus-wide entrepreneurial activities made possible by a generous gift from our alumnus, Jim Schwartz. Jim, welcome back. And thank you for your passion, for everything you've done for Carnegie Mellon, and for entrepreneurship at Carnegie Mellon. We are so pleased to be launching the Schwartz Center in conjunction with Launch CMU, an event that exemplifies what's possible when top talent generates and pursues groundbreaking ideas in a nurturing environment. I want to acknowledge a couple of folks. First of all, the exceptional leadership of, uh, of course, several people at the Schwartz Center. Dave Moini, our executive director, and Lenore Bloom and John Kagan, the two faculty co-directors. Thank you very much. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to academic university leadership and university leadership, including uh, Dean Bob Damon and Dean Andrew Moore, who serve as co-chairs of the Schwartz Center Steering Committee, along with other members of the Steering Committee who are present this evening. Finally, I would like to welcome Peter Stern and Miles Reddy, two members of the newly, just announced today, Schwartz Center Advisory Board here tonight. The advisory board consists of 12 successful entrepreneurs with connections to Carnegie Mellon. We thank these leaders for their willingness to provide their counsel and their passion for enhancing the culture of entrepreneurship. Please join me in thanking their leadership. You know, it is so fitting that we're celebrating entrepreneurship and it's taking place just a couple of weeks after the White House Frontiers Conference that was held here uh, in Pittsburgh and at Carnegie Mellon, uh, when President Obama and uh, nearly 500 thought leaders from across the country came to Pittsburgh to discuss science, technology, and innovation. As all of us recognize, our national identity is synonymous with discovery and entrepreneurship. We need to recognize the changing role of universities not only as originators and keepers of knowledge, but also as engines for discovery and innovation. In fact, universities increasingly are playing a central role in the innovation ecosystem, driving regional and national economic growth, and in turn, economic development and societal needs drive and shape a university's research and academic mission in a virtual cycle. The vision for the Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship is to amplify our position within this ecosystem, to become the academic destination for faculty and students seeking a culture of entrepreneurship and opportunities to learn, conceive, collaborate, launch, and lead in new endeavors. To my colleagues here, it's not a surprise when I say when with our top-ranked schools in engineering, in computer science, in business, in information systems, in policy, Carnegie Mellon embraces interdisciplinary work as a place for early pioneering work in artificial intelligence that started here almost 50 years ago. We're now leading in the development of emerging areas such as robotics, autonomous vehicles, cybersecurity, data analytics, technology-enhanced learning, new materials and 3D printing, just to name a few. It should come as no surprise that CMU has become one of the fastest growing entrepreneurial ecosystems in the world. Consider that in the last five years, CMU has generated 1,400 invention disclosures, 1,000 patents, 880 licenses and options and other agreements, 
and in total more than 200 companies that have been started by our students, faculty, and alum. When it comes to students, indeed, it seems that no matter what college they're in, students come to CMU seeking to make a difference in society, whether through startups, new companies, or social entrepreneurship. And they want the tools to succeed. We also this energy and excitement from many of our faculty, young and more senior faculty. In fact, most of our new faculty, early career faculty, expect to develop new technologies and engage in startup ventures as part of their academic career. It's part of their DNA. Thanks to Jim's generous gift, we will enhance CMU's entrepreneurship infrastructure and bring our diverse slate of programs and resources to entrepreneurship under the Swart Center umbrella. Our pathway for entrepreneurship includes cross-disciplinary courses and degrees, including a newly launched minor in entrepreneurship that's available to all students across the entire university, regardless of their major, regardless of their degree. And that complements, of course, our MBA track in entrepreneurship. Networking and funding opportunities, such as Launch CMU, and gap funding for student and faculty and alum. New mentoring initiatives, such as the Entrepreneurship in Residence program. And experiential learning programs that take students out of classroom and into real startup enterprises, including the James R. Schwartz Fellows program. Uh, this program, in fact, has been nurturing talented student innovators since 2005. And we're thrilled to have the current class of Schwartz Fellows here with us, as well as several Schwartz alumni. I would like to ask these men and women, please stand and be recognized. Schwartz Fellows. You know, I'm going to go off script for a second. The truth is that while we're launching the Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship, uh, Jim Schwartz has been passionate about entrepreneurship, about this institution. In fact, the Schwartz Fellows are a great example of how he has been giving and, and contributing to the intellectual development of this community and supporting our entrepreneurs. Back to the script. And of course, another vital experiential learning in, is Project Olympus, the incubator of the Schwartz Center that Lenore Ballon founded in 2007 and has, has since helped over 130 companies get off ground. Put together, taken together, these programs, resources, and opportunities work cohesively to accelerate promising research and nurture groundbreaking ideas at their inception. The Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship will ensure that the CMUs strengthen entrepreneurship, technology transfer, and economic development continues to provide a vital bridge from research to practice. Jim, I want to thank you again, once again, for your incredible generosity to and passion for this university. It is now my great pleasure to invite Dr. Subra Suresh, the ninth president of Carnegie Mellon University, to the podium. Dr. Suresh. Thank you, Farnam. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome everyone to this uh, wonderful event. This is a culmination of a conversation that began three years ago in San Francisco. And uh, it was the first time I met uh, Jim Schwartz. And it was an extraordinary journey. Jim, thank you for from that conversation to where we are today. I would also like to start by thanking Bob Damon and Ann Powers, who are sitting there, who have been very helpful in uh, coordinating uh, conversations with Jim for many years. Thank you. Thank you, Ann, and thank you, Bob. <laughs> Before I touch on how significant this center is, I want to echo my thanks to all of those who have contributed and worked hard to bring this entrepreneurship center into existence. Entrepreneurship is in the DNA of Carnegie Mellon University. 
that's everybody knows this. But that alone may not be sufficient. How do we take the DNA, how to nurture it, how to help it, so that a broad cross-section of people all across campus, especially across disciplinary boundaries, have an opportunity to contribute and develop their entrepreneurial skills through curricular activities, through planned encounters, through serendipitous encounters, through networking opportunities, through connections. I think, I think these are very important activities as the video that Dave showed at the beginning tried to highlight. Going forward, the best way an entrepreneur can develop their business idea will be through Carnegie Mellon's SWAT Center for Entrepreneurship. In the video, Dave also talked about the i nodes around the country and trying to connect excellent activities that take place at Carnegie Mellon University with activities across the country will be another pivotal part of uh, the SWAT Center for Entrepreneurship. In fact, we have uh, one of the co-founders of i who helped support it is on the SWAT Center Entrepreneurship Board. So we are very excited about the possibility that this external advisory board for the Entrepreneurship Center brings us. We are also confident in this activity because the SWAT Center epitomizes CMU's greatest strength, our unique interdisciplinary approach to problem solving. The center will draw CMU researchers, faculty and students from across our campus to develop business ideas and launch startups. It will support our alumni entrepreneurs wherever they are in their careers. We very much hope that alumni and friends of Carnegie Mellon University will engage with us and will contribute ideas that will shape the future evolution of the Entrepreneurship Center. Our commitment to creating a new model for business development aligns with university priorities laid out in our strategic plan to cultivate the entrepreneurship that exists all across campus through a variety of curricular and non-curricular activities. I mentioned the strategic plan here, which is the culmination of effort by the campus community for, for over a year because the strategic plan touches on various initiatives that the SWAT Center will feed into, especially the core, core priorities of attracting and retaining outstanding and diverse talent, enhancing the CMU experience, and building excellence across the university. This investment promises to have a transformative effect both in nurturing the next generation of entrepreneurs and in building on the university's strengths in collaborative research and education across different academic fields and disciplines. That's the vision that Jim Swartz had in mind when we talked about the possibility of creating this wonderful center. Through his generous gift of $31 million, 10 million of which will be applied to the physical infrastructure associated with the Tepper Quad project, which we announced about two and a half years ago, this center will have far-reaching Im impact beyond the programmatic activities of the university. In a way, the center is a symbol of Jim's passion and lifelong work. A co-founder of Axel in 1983, Jim is now entering his fifth decade in venture capital and has been a lead director of more than 50 successful companies. Before founding Axel, Jim was a founding partner in Adler & Company, a vice president of Citicor Venture Capital, and served as chairman of the National Venture Capital Association, which bestowed its Lifetime Achievement Award on him in 2007. He currently serves as chairman of the Swartz Foundation and the Christian Center of Park City, director emeritus of the US Ski 
and Snowboard Foundation, where he established the Borgen Swartz Education Endowment. He's a trustee of the Sundance Institute and San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. He is also a member of the Board of Advisors of CMU's Tepper School of Business. He is also the chair of the President's Global Advisory Council, for which, Jim, I'm enormously grateful to you. We're also grateful to Mary and I are very grateful to you and Susan for your friendship and for your generosity. In addition to Jim's many philanthropic initiatives in education, athletics, the arts, health, and social impact programs. He's also one of CMU's leading benefactors. In addition to the center we launched today, we can thank him for the James R. Swartz Entrepreneurial Leadership Series, which provides a forum for the Carnegie Mellon University community and its entrepreneurial network partners in Pittsburgh to discuss issues central to entrepreneurial leadership and for the James R. Swartz Entrepreneurial Fellows Initiative, which fast tracks the careers of CMU graduate students who are passionate about entrepreneurship in the technology arena. With a record of commitment like this, it's no wonder that we are here today to again express our deepest gratitude to Jim and Susan for their ongoing dedication to Carnegie Mellon University. I would also like to add just a few months ago Carnegie Mellon University bestowed upon Jim an honorary doctorate degree. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> to show our appreciation, we would like to present him with a small token today. Please join me in bringing to the stage a great and abiding friend to Carnegie Mellon University, Jim Schwartz, and I get the gift. Thank you, Subra, for that wonderful introduction. I'm so happy to be here today for the launch of our campus for Center for Entrepreneurship. Many have made this possible, and we all have one objective, to make Carnegie Mellon University the destination of choice for the best entrepreneurs of the world. I'll go off script here one sec. Um, I sat today with the Swartz fellows, and I asked how many of them came to Carnegie Mellon because of entrepreneurship. And it was a good third of them, maybe more, that raised their hands. So I think it's a really, really important factor. Entrepreneurship is about creating value. CMU has world-class talent in exactly the right value creation disciplines of engineering, computer science, design, and business. Now we will have the additional resources and talent to enhance and mobilize our embedded entrepreneurial opportunities. While I cannot deny the catalyzing effect of my gift, this center would not have been possible without the vision of Dean Bob Damon of the Tepper School and President Subra Suresh. Thank you very much. It was their bold thinking that inspired me to join them to fulfill their vision. And a big thank you to the steering committee that worked diligently over the past year to add structure to our vision, led by Provost Farnham Janian, Dean of the Computer Science School, Andrew Moore, and Executive Director, David Mowinney. Thanks for your leadership and for the full committee that participated with you. Why did I do this? Uh, I've been observing the development of entrepreneurship on this campus since being offered a partnership with a little CMU-affiliated 
partnership back in 1972. I think I wisely declined that opportunity, but I then worked with the legendary entrepreneurship professor Jack Thorne during the 80s and 90s. I made many trips here, giving talks, classroom lectures, and always taking the pulse. I've watched these efforts grow through the years with the launch of the Don Jones Center, the success of the McGinnis Business Plan Competition, the launch of Project Olympus, and the emergence of the Open Fields Entrepreneur Fund as an important funding source. In recent years, I've been encouraged by the emergence of a strong technical ecosystem in the Pittsburgh community, foretold by the arrival of a Microsoft campus, a Google campus, an Uber campus, an Apple campus, and others. I felt the time had finally come to take these efforts to the next level. So here we are on the verge of a new era, an era with a strong cross-disciplinary focus and faculty to match, a faculty that will continue to attract the best and brightest to world-class academic and research programs that will now be complemented by entrepreneurship programs that emphasize team building, mentorship, leadership training, networking, and strong financial resources. Importantly, funding for the center provides for a much needed increase in entrepreneurs and residents to serve as active mentors. And we anticipate launching additional funding vehicles that will add to the successful seed programs now in place. We have numerous examples of long-term entrepreneurial success, represented well by the members of the new advisory committee advanced today, announced today. These young leaders will work with the center to accelerate and to guide the next generation of entrepreneurs. Finally, we recognize that it is critically important to build bridges to the best startup ecosystems. Silicon Valley, New York, Bangalore, London, or wherever CMU alumni have a critical presence. In that spirit, I am forever grateful for the team of Core Axo Partners, who have come here today to support me and to support CMU engaging with the strongest venture firms and development networks. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and thank all of you for coming. Thank all of you for coming today to support this giant step for entrepreneurship. I strongly believe that 10 years from now, CMU will be a clear destination of choice for aspiring entrepreneurs. There are many challenges ahead. They are formidable, but we understand them. I'm excited to play a part in moving us forward. Thank you. Before we go, um, I'd just like everybody to give one more round of applause to Jim Schwartz. What amazing gift he's given to the university to take us into the future.